Fight fans, what's going on? Welcome back to Boxing with Chris. Back to talk some boxing. So, one thing I do, ladies and gentlemen, I'm an honest man and I speak the truth. Jamel Charlo from Undisputed, still lineal at 154 pounds, is still the man. Terrence Crawford definitely is the most accomplished fighter at 154, probably even the better fighter. But right now, in terms of status, in terms of the division, and in terms of who is the man, Jamel Charlo is still the man at 154 pounds. He made, a, you know, he said he's going back to 154 pounds after the lackluster performance against Canelo. A lot of people were giving him backlash, but at 154, say what you want, Jamel Charlo is the man. He wiped out the division. He became undisputed. Every fight that was that had doubt left in, he rematched it and he won by stoppage. We know he was scheduled to fight Tim Zhu January 28th of 2023. He breaks his hand. During the process of him breaking his hand and in rehab, he gets the call from four division former undisputed world champ, so Canelo Alvarez, to fight in September 30th of the year. He obviously accepts the challenge like anybody would. You know, it's the Canelo golden ticket, the stimulus check, as we like to say. So he took the fight. You know, did what a lot of people also do after the Canelo fight, take a long layoff. It's going to be a year creeping up in about another five weeks. So now he's back. You know, he they promoted the fight undisputed versus undisputed. But the moment the bell rang, they uh, they stripped him of the WBO and they stripped and elevated Tim Zhu. And one by one, he's been losing the belts. He lost all the belts at 154, but he is still the lineal champ. Nobody actually beat him when he was undisputed. So it's an unwritten rule. He's technically still the man at 154, like it or not. And due to Crawford's performance, maybe people are feeling that 168 may be a reach. I've always felt ever since Crawford beat Errol Spence. Obviously, we did not know that Jamel Charlo was gonna, you know, give up all the belts. But Terrence Crawford, Jamel Charlo is the fight to make at 154 pounds. It is a hell of a fight, real animosity. The fight could sell. Both fights will, both fighters will come to fight. Jamel Charlo obviously is a great fighter within his own right. I would love to see it at 154 pounds. Hopefully, we get it early 2025. Hopefully, Jamel Charlo could get back in the ring and grab himself one of his vacant belts. But it'll be a hell of a fight to make. 154 stacking himself to be a great division. Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, Jermel Charlo, Sebastian Fundora, Tim Zhu, Brian Mendoza, Erickson Lubin. It is a hell of a division. If I forgot anybody, I didn't forget, but it's a hell of a division that has a lot of fights to be made. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll be back to talk some boxing soon. Peace.